Did you deliberately let him go? Does it look like it, ma'am? Detective Buchanan was unconscious for a short time, ma'am. He called me when he came to. We dispatched cars to the scene, but Dalton had gone. And Dalton all but confessed to you that he planted the trace evidence and faked the murder weapon. Sir. Which is an obvious motive in the Juliet Gardner killing. Yes, ma'am. Bloody hell. Sorry, ma'am. Take it. Superintendent Jarvis and I have been asked to keep the Attorney General abreast of any developments. Ma'am. Especially in relation to the Major's case. Buchanan, did you collude in the planting of that golf club? No, ma'am. But if push comes to shove and Dalton wants to take me down with him, it'll be his word against mine. Well, the hell isn't looking too good then, is it? We found Dalton. Hey, Bruce. You want to talk about this? Come on, Bruce. You want to step out of the car? I didn't mean to shoot the girl. I was aiming for him. Dalton's wife said that she wanted to do the ID. to find his suicide note. Oh, note. This is not just a suicide note. This is a hand grenade. This looks like the best idea right now. Check the gun. It'll be a match to the one that killed the reporter. That was an accident. I was after her informer, trying to stop the truth coming out. Juliet was collateral damage. No, oh, there's more. I spent my life going after the truth. We were sure Majors killed his wife. We just didn't have the proof. But we should never have planted that evidence. Now it's time to pay the price. We? We should never have planted that evidence. This doesn't have to send you to the wall, Nick. Of course it will. People will assume it's me. I'm the natural co-conspirator. Well, not necessarily. Oh, come on, Jen. You've seen the papers. They're lining me up. And you know what? I probably deserve it. I didn't even consider that Bruce might have crossed the line. Why would you? He was your senior sergeant and he was your mentor. Yeah, and if I learn from him, then what does that make me? Nick. If I'd been half the cop that I pretend to be, Dame Majors would be free, Bruce Dalton would be in jail, and Juliet Gardner would be alive. How was he? Ah, uh, yeah, he's doing okay. Well, I might go around there later, drag him down the pub. Maybe give him a day or two. Hey, guys, we got something new from Deep Throat. He texted to say he's got more information on the planted evidence. Well, where is it? Uh, he said he's just sent it. Well, that's good, isn't it? To Tim Paget at the newspaper. Uh, can I help you, detective? Are you looking for a package? Don't have it. I think you'll find that package is related to our murder inquiry. Your murder inquiry is over, and I think you'll find the package was actually addressed to me, mate. Okay, look, Paget. He's already read the contents, lads, and he's shown them to me. So I have a sneaking suspicion that you and your squad have a bit of explaining to do. It doesn't take much now to figure out that one of your so called detectives is impersonating Tim Paget. Now, Bernice, that is illegal. Look, this was, this still is a legitimate line of inquiry, and we need whatever evidence is in that envelope. No, I'm sorry. See, from our point of view right now, what's in that envelope is personal correspondence, not evidence. And so, if you want to read it, you'll have to get a warrant. And to do that, you'll have to tell a judge exactly how you know the nature of those contents. Wouldn't it be easier just to read tomorrow morning's edition? Oh, by the way, catch the TV news tonight. There's a press conference. Quite interesting. interested.